We're going to take some clips that we've looked at in other aspects of this education and just try to clean them up here in audition. So these clips are, forgive me, they will sound uh, oddly familiar to you, but um, we're going to clean them up and work with them as best we can in Adobe Audition exclusively. So here's our first clip. Educators say more and more students are dropping out, some at their parents' urging, because they don't see the value of a high school diploma. And uh, if you were on the Sound Advice Tour, this will be familiar to you as well. There's two things basically we want to look at in here. There's these mic bumps, because they don't and then there's the general noise. Educators say more. That's not bad, but it's definitely there. So we're going to double click, and that brings up the waveform view, which you can also get to in that waveform editor, in my case, by hitting zero. So this is the, the sp a spectrogram, just like we see in other programs that use this. You've got high frequencies versus low, early versus late, and the brighter it is, the louder these particular frequencies are. So we can definitely see here. Educators say more and more students are dropping out. And there's that bump down there, and these are the overtones and lovely Andreas's voice. So the first thing that we want to do is ensure that our volume is at, at a good place that we can edit it at. Edit it at. So if I take this here, and you can look carefully, there's these two little bands here. I can select between waveform and the spectral view. In this case, if you look, this peak, which are which is actually the mic bumps themselves, goes all the way out to minus two, even minus one. So that's plenty of bandwidth for us. We don't need to do any gaining or anything like that. Then the next thing we want to do is just basic denoising. We want to select a part of the audio that is the noise that we want to get rid of. And that's pretty good. Let's take a listen to this. That's probably even better. In Audition, you teach Audition what the noise profile is from outside of the plugins that we want to use. Uh, you could do it from within, but if you do it from here, effects, noise reduction, restoration, you can see capture noise print is shift P. And so we can do that here. It immediately captures it. Nothing's happened to the waveform. It's just basically learned that noise. And then from there, we can go select the noise reduction that we want. There's tons of noise options that you have, and they're sometimes difficult to figure out how to use. The ones that I suggest that you use for these kinds of noise reduction bits are either the hiss reduction process, if it's high frequency white type noise, or noise reduction process. Both of these are destructive, and I recommend them. If you're not familiar with how what this looks like or, or what this is, how the uh, noise reduction works in Audition, you've got the green line is your threshold, the red line is the low end of the noise, and then the noise floor itself and the highs, and then and the yellow, and then you have uh, sort of an EQ boosting or cutting of the noise, <clears throat> denoise file. You can, of course, capture the noise print from within this, which you'll have to do if you change your fast for your transfer size. What in the world is fast Fourier? Well, let's go through all of this and we'll start at the bottom. The little help bits are actually very accurate, determines how many individual frequency bands are analyzed, but that doesn't mean anything to us per se. But what it means just in practical lay terms is the fewer samples or fast Fourier size bits that you have, the more sharp and sometimes the more artifacts you'll get. So a 512 is going to be very, very sharp, very, very clean, but you're going to get those musical chirpies. Whereas when you go out to 16K like this, it'll be very smooth, very kind of wishy-washy with less uh, artifacts, but you won't get the kind of de uh, noise reduction that you'll want. My general idea is to keep the noise print uh, snapshots at 4,000 or so. Really don't mess around with that. Precision factor is how fast the D, the D noise returns to uh, back to denoising once something like dialogue crosses the threshold. It's in conjunction with how fast the spectral decay rate works. I like 1% and the precision factor I'll mess with. Smoothing, I generally always leave out at 1024. And I always leave the transition width at one decibel. The higher you raise this, the less denoising you'll get. 
And then this is what we're uh, very familiar with. How many decibels do you want to reduce the noise? And then this is sort of a mix between 100% reduction and the original signal. Kind of consider it mixing the dry signal with the wet. That's really the, the best way to look at that. So let's try some examples now that we've got a noise print that we like. I'm going to select all and hit the play button. Uh, we'll just do the mic bump on this one. Actually, I tell you what, let's just go from here because that's me chiba jabbering again. Educators say more and more students are dropping out, some at their parents' urging, because they don't see the value of... Now, what you're seeing here is the noise print is not defined, and that's because I've changed some of these things. So we're going to capture the noise print again, just because it's fun to do, and it sounds okay. We'll go like this. It's very fast. We'll come back here, select all of it again. Educators say more and more students are dropping out. Notice the noise is removed. Educators say more and more students are dropping out. Some and it's doing very well. If you listen closely, you can hear some artifacture. Educators say more and more students are dropping out. Up in his sibilance, a little musical noise going on there. Let's change this to 512. It will ask me to make a new noise print, which I can do, and then go back and select again. Educators say more and more students are dropping out. Some at their parents... You even get more noise uh, removal. Let's run the noise reduction way up here and see what we get. Educators say more and more students are dropping out, some at their parents' urging. That's really, really clean. In fact, if we say process by, via apply, look at what happens. The noise is completely removed. And this is a kind of noise denoising that's called fast Fourier transfer, FFT. You'll see here, FFT. Uh, Isotope also has this. Most programs that have denoising have this kind of work. It's very, very good for simple denoising, things where you just need to get rid of a general room where you don't have any problems or anything like that. Very, very good. And in addition, it's, it's quite good as well. Even if